Hello, this is Jacob, producer and performer at Entendre Music. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom Slice Audio to MIDI track preset in Ableton Live. So what do I mean? Well, check it out. I've got this basic dub beat here. You could actually use any kind of audio file you want. Here's what I've got. And basically when you right click on an audio track, as long as it's warp enabled, you should see this option slice to new MIDI track right here. And when you click on that, it brings up this dialog box. You can choose the transients or warp markers or these intervals. I'm just going to stick with transients, which would be these little gray arrows here. And I'm going to go with the built-in slicing preset and just show you what that looks like. Ableton also comes with some other custom presets, but we're going to build our own. So this is what the the default preset does. It just gives you a drum rack with all the slices, your attack decay, sustain release, and some loop settings. It gives you this uh, MIDI clip up here with all your slices in the rhythm of the original drum beat. And so that's pretty cool. When you play this back, it sounds just like the original until you start playing with some of these settings. So yeah, there's a lot of power there, especially if you make your own. So it's really easy. I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to delete the MIDI clip. And in order to make your own, you just got to throw on a drum rack or you can use a sampler and customize it however you want. Once you have the drum rack, which is what we're going to do, you need to put either a simpler or a sampler inside of that. So I'm going to use a simpler. It doesn't matter what sound you have in here because it's going to be replaced when you slice the audio to MIDI. So don't worry about that. It's just a placeholder. And you just want to get your default settings exactly how you want them to be. So for example, I could turn up this velocity and volume. I could increase the length here, turn off the loop. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assign the release and the sustain and the decay all to macro one and we'll just call this release or length and we'll just set that about there and then I'm going to get a filter here and I'm going to go ahead and assign the frequency to macro two turn that all the way up and let's see what else if you go in here you can open more settings here and then open the ins and outs and I'm going to set a choke group of one so that anything I slice if another sample plays it's going to cut off the other one because they're both in the same group that's how choke groups work and so yeah I'm just gonna use that I'm also going to open these sins and returns so you can use third-party effects as well. So I'm going to drop Serum Effects in here as an effect. I'm also going to drop a Spring Reverb, a Convolution Reverb from Max for Live. So I will put that here. Now I highly recommend that if you're going to use any high CPU usage plugins you use them as send effects because although you can throw effects on the chain after your slice here you can uh, you can do that but then when you slice a large file say there's a hundred slices then you're gonna have a hundred instances of serum or whatever high intensity CPU usage plugin you're using so definitely throw those on your sins. So we have serum effects, we have the spring reverb. I'm going to go ahead and go in here into the serum effects and then activate the delay. 
I'm going to put this LFO on the frequency and I'm going to turn on note latch so it's going to keep going and I'm just going to change the settings here turn up the feedback and then I'm going to turn the mix all the way up so it's fully wet and so now we, yeah we have these sins here um, I could just go ahead and map those to three and four and that's going to be serum effects and the spring reverb and then let's see what else you can really just put whatever you want in here I'm going to go ahead and put a flanger right here and put the dry wet on macro 5 and then I'm going to go over here and let's see I'm going to put this Tantra plugin by Dimitri Chess on its own chain send and so yeah I'm going to drag that in here now I want it to be fully wet when I turn up the send on this one so here's a little trick I'm going to choose a preset and I'm going to group this effect and inside this group I'm going to create another chain and in that chain I'm going to well I duplicated the chain so I'm going to delete Tantra so this chain has Tantra and this chain will have utility and so I'm going to drag that in and I'm going to invert the phase here so now when I feed the signal into send 3 I'm going to get the same exact signal inverted on itself so it's going to cancel itself out as well as the effect so I'll show you what I mean let's see so there's just the sound dry now I'm going to turn up uh, send 3 So that's just Tantra that we're hearing. If I take off this utility, you'd hear what it sounds like with the original and Tantra layered on top of each other. It's okay, but you can see that you can't really hear the gatedness of the effect because you're hearing the original on top of it. So it just depends on what you want, but that's a nice trick to know about. So, you know, I could choose whatever preset I want here, and then it's going to be fully wet whenever I switch it over. So I'm going to turn this on as the flanger, and I'm going to go ahead and map this third send, and we're going to call this Tantra. And I'm going to go over here and just throw a phaser on here and we'll do the dry wet to macro 7 and I'm going to do a ping pong delay before the flanger and phaser and we'll do the dry wet to macro 8 yeah I mean I could have put that on a send but this is going to get a different type of effect So let's see, we're going to call this phaser, and this will be ping pong delay. All right, so let's see, we got the serum effects. I can go in here, play with the rate. I could turn this to ping pong. Let's see. Throw some compression on there. All 
All right, so we're just going to leave it like that. So we're just going to play with those phaser settings. There's the ping pong. And yeah, that gives us a lot of control right there. We've got... Got a lot of a different effects to play with. And so yeah, now once you have it dialed in exactly how you want it, you're just gonna want to rename this. So we'll call this custom one. You could be more descriptive and drag it into the proper location. So you're gonna go into user library, defaults, and slicing, and then you just drag it in here, and there you go. Now it will show up as an option in here. You can also look at some of the um, pre-built ones that come with Ableton and kind of see how they're put together to get some ideas. But if I slice this now to a new MIDI track, I'm going to use the transients and I'm going to use custom one and hit OK. It's going to go ahead and chop it up for me. So if I had put Tantra and Serum at the end of the chain, then it would have popped up however many windows, 12 different instances that I would have had to close just then. But since I put them on the send, it just came up once and I could just hit close easy. So now we have everything all mapped out. Let's see what we can do with it. I mean, there's a lot you can do here. Yeah, so you can see the power in that and hope you got something valuable. Please like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more. Check out my music at soundcloud.com slash entendre. And until next time, have a great day.